Welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna make a new tool today to use on the lathe and it's called a lathe crotch center. So what it's used for is for drilling into round stock on the lathe and it goes in the tail stock of the lathe. So it's better if I just show you a description here. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a round block then there's going to be a V groove in it. And looking at it from the side, so this section here will mount into the tailstock on the lathe. So that'll be secured down here. To the lathe bed. You can put round stock in here and then this V is going to be on center with the head stock so in the in a collet chuck or whatever you can put a drill and then because this is on center we can use the tail stock to advance the tail stock and then we can drill holes in the center of any kind of round stock that we put in there. So I've got an arbor that's a Morse Taper 3 so it fits my tail stock and it's got screw threads on the end of it. So what we're gonna do is make this piece that screws on to the end of this that's got the V-block in it. So I've got a chunk of metal here that we're going to use for that and this is going to be a very small version and if it if it works good and i'm happy with it then i might make a larger version later but this is going to be mainly for doing model engineering stuff so small diameter work and small drills so it'll probably take i haven't decided yet like a 3 8 will probably be the largest maybe 5 16 3 8 something like that will be the largest diameter stock that it'll take and then to hold the stock in there, you could hold it by hand, but I want a method to be able to hold it in here solid. So we're gonna actually make a plate that bolts onto the front here. So it will bolt through this with two bolts. And then looking at it from the top, there's going to be, so these will be the two bolts that bolt it down, and then the V is underneath here. Then there will be two thumb screws, one on each side here, and then these thumb screws will actually tighten up and then hold against the stock here to hold it into the V. This will all make more sense once we get it together. But the first thing we're gonna do is, I wanna go ahead and drill. So I'm gonna use this same piece to cut off a piece for this top plate. So we're gonna go ahead and drill and tap two holes here. So that'll be to bolt this plate back onto there. And then once we get this plate cut off, then we'll start working on the back side. We'll get this drilled out. And then we're going to cut the threads, try to cut the threads on the lathe for this arbor. And that, that we'll screw onto here. And then we'll need to cut a V into the top. And then we'll need to drill this plate for the two other holes for the thumb screws and then make up some thumb screws. So the reason that I'm going to cut this on the lathe is this arbor that I got is a 5816, which is not a national course or national fine thread. It's a special thread size of 16 pitch, which I think fits a lot of drill, a lot of different drill trucks are made that size, but it's not something that I have a tap for. So that means we're gonna get to set up the lathe and cut the internal threads on this with the lathe. But the first thing I'll do is get these two holes drill and tapped here, and then we'll get it in the lathe and get this top section cut off.
Okay, so we got everything machined now. So we drilled these holes here before we cut this piece apart. So we drilled these holes here, tap and drill size for 832 in this case. And then we drilled these two holes here for tap and drill size. And then we drilled clearance holes here, put this in the lathe, and then I cut this piece off. Then we was left with this piece. So I drilled it and then it's a 9 16 and then I, cause I had to thread this on the lathe because it's 16 threads per inch. I didn't have a tap that size. So it was going into a blind hole. So I took an end mill and then squared out the bottom. And then we cut a relief in here with a cutting tool. So the threading tool had somewhere to, to go out into before I could, so it wouldn't crash before I could get it stopped. So we got these threads cut on the inside. Then I set it up in the horizontal mill and I milled this V groove here. So I ended up with a little bit bigger hole in the middle than I would have liked. This was just a scrap piece of metal that I had that I wanted to use to try to make this. So if I was doing it again, I'd make it a little bit longer so we could thread it onto here and then not have as large a hole there in the middle. And if it becomes an issue, I may put a plug in from the back side and then recut the V groove into it. We'll see. But let's get everything assembled. So I'll show you how it's gonna work. So this, oh, and I have cold blued everything just to help keep it from rusting. And then I made a scribe line here. You can still see our original scribe lines that we had to drill the holes, but I made this one darker. So when we put a piece of material in here, if we have a punch mark or a mark that we're trying to line up with, then we can visually line it up in this window. But this will screw onto the arbor. Like that. And then this will go on to here. So we have two holes that are clearance holes. And then I made a scribe mark there just so I could line it back up each time the way that we drilled the holes. So we'll put this on here. Then these thread into there. So these hold the plate on. Then I had these brass thumb screws that we will put in here. So these brass thumb screws will clamp down against whatever piece you put in there and just tighten these up. And then this, uh, this top plate doesn't have to be tight for larger material. The thumb screws will pull it up so you can loosen it a little bit if you've got something that's larger. So I've got this scrap piece of aluminum that we're gonna drill a hole in. So you put the piece in here, and then if you had a punch mark, you can line it up with the scrub. Then we will tighten the brass thumb screws here. That holds the piece tight. So then we will head over to the lathe and I'll show you how this works. Okay, we're over here at the lathe now. So we just put our piece here 
in the tailstock. And the beauty of this is it doesn't matter which orientation that you put it in, it's always gonna be on center. And if your tailstock is not centered up to your head stock, now is a good time to make sure that that's centered up. So we're gonna start with, we're still gonna use a center drill just to start a point for the drill bit. So we put the center drill in there. And we'll turn it on. Feed this in just enough to make a dimple. That's enough. So now we'll switch it out and put our drill bit in. So to hold this, I've just got a drill chuck on a straight arbor and I got it held in my three jaw chuck. You could uh, use the three jaw chuck itself or if you've got a collet chuck or something like that to hold the drill bits or to hold a drill arbor. So we got the drill bit in there now. So we'll do the same thing, start it up and advance it through. And there we are all the way through. We'll take it out and see how we did. There you go. We'll take it out of here and look at it. There you go, one hole perfectly drilled in the center of round stock. So we'll measure it right quick. See how close we are. We're about 56 thousandths on that side. And about 55, 56 thousandths on that side. So there you go, perfect way to drill a hole in the center of some round stock. So hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.